Hello everyone, welcome to the session. Today we are going to discuss grade 10th CBSC poem Dust of Snow by Robert Frost. It's a very symbolic poem. At its surface, the poet talks about a trivial incident that brings about a sudden change in the state of his mind. But what happens and what happens to change his mind for that, we'll have to dig deep into the poem. So let's get started. The poet says that he was standing beneath a hemlock tree, the one that's a poisonous tree. It's just then that a crow shook off the dust of snow that had fallen on it because it was sitting on one of the branches. With this falling of the dust, there was a sudden change in his mood. It caused a sudden change in his mood and it ended all the regret that had filled his mind. Thus, this incident saved his day from any further sadness. But the poet Robert Frost has used the hemlock tree, the crow, the dust of snow and the crow's shaking off the dust from his wings, from his body as symbols only. The hemlock tree, it's a poisonous tree and it has been used here as a symbol of the poet's sad state of mind that's no less than a poison for the body. The crow is often taken as a sign of ill omen. The poet has used it as a symbol of sad thoughts that had settled on his mind just as the crow had settled on one of the branches of the hemlock tree, the poisonous tree. The dust of snow that has settled on the crow is a symbol of inertia that the poet's sad thoughts have brought about in him. And the crow's shaking of the dust is a symbol of a new awakening that comes to the poet's mind. I mean, it saved the rest part of his day. So it ends all his regret and it saves his mind from any further dejection. Thus, we can say that every word of this short poem is loaded with deep symbolism and significance. So that's all about the poem. I hope you've understood it. If you did enjoy the poem, make sure you like, share and subscribe the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.